Manafort got four years. Stone is about to get sentenced. Flynn's sentencing is the 28th. Hillary's just chilling in the woods. So, hey, we're hi. here. Hi. hi. It's the Wake and Bake. Wake up. Time. Oh, it's a. Uh, uh, actually, I have this cool thing so that we don't have to. Touch? Worry about it. Is it filming me? No, 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 just audio, but this way it doesn't get um, in our way. Mm. Oh, let it rip. Um, and then we have the mics aiming at us a little bit better. Oh, that's good. Oy! So, uh, it's Tony Tuesday, part two, holiday dedication episode, um, part one was a short episode, 20 minutes or so. Uh, I took Tony on a wish um, mission. It was exciting. Did it, uh, Was it all that you had hoped it would be? It was a little bit um, better than I thought it could have ever been. Yeah? <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take it. I'll take that. So I, I forgot my lighter. Oh, no, here it is right here. Um, but uh, So what are we going to be smoking right now, Tony? What's that? This oh, is... Oh, my glasses. A blackjack. Okay. It's pre roll by Sticks. A great rock and roll band. Okay, okay. Well, uh, so I got my. I picked this up at the People's Remedy. Ah, everybody loves the People's Remedy. They, uh, they just expanded. They've got another location now. So there's two locations? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's the one over by the Industrial Park area, and then uh, off of, um, what is that, Woodland? Okay. And then there's one now off of McHenry Avenue, uh, where the comic book store used to be. <gasps> over oh, there uh, wow. by, uh, what's the sushi place? Yes. Across from Goodwill mm-hmm. and Party City. Oh, but that is next to the... Delicious superhero, superhero, very good. Which used to be the Papachinos by uh, Barnes and Noble, but they moved and changed their name. Really? Mm-hmm. So huh. originally it was located where the Starbucks used to be, and the Barnes and Noble is. It was called Papachinos, and it was called Papachinos. And then I think his brother opened the one downtown called the Papachinos, and then he moved, and they opened, they changed the name. To Super Euro, and it has been the same pe- same family since. I love that place. Oh, I do too. Um, I love Super Euro. They're mashed potato balls. What? Oh no! I did, I always get like two euros. Mm. Or or also there was this dude, and I can't think of his fucking name right now, but he was like a Ferrari dude, and that's all he does is he just he he's like one of those guys got a chunk of money. Likes Ferraris, rotates the Ferraris. Okay, uh, you gets know, a new one every couple. Yeah, of years. every every yeah every few years he's rotating in a new Ferrari, and took me for a ride in his Ferrari, and uh, actually left his hat, um, in at at a show or something, and everybody was gonna steal it, and I had the hat, but it was like I was like hella busy, and so I didn't call him, but then like he called me. And I was like, dude, I do have your hat. Like, I forgot, you know, I've, I've been meaning to call you. And he's like, why didn't you call me? That's <laughs> weird. Like, he made it all weird like I was trying to steal his fucking hat. You know what I mean? Was it a nice hat? It was just a Ferrari hat. It was just a hat that said Ferrari on it. That's all. I can get one of those. Yeah. I thought it was like a cool, like, no. pa- Panama hat. or No, it was just a Ferrari. So, it said you know. Ferrari. It, yeah, and dude, it just sucked because he was one of those people like like uh, become a fan, and then all of a sudden they're like, um, "I'm think I think I'm a comedian too." Ah, uh, you know it happens. They get the they get the bug. I, I hate give them those. the bug. You know, uh, speaking of the bug, like uh, yeah, everybody's gonna be. 
doing a honk protest today. Yes, they're trying to bug somebody. They yeah, they're they're uh, we're saying no one is above the law is is the uh, protest we're going to. So we're telling Donald Trump that he is not above the law, that he has to follow laws. He's not free to just break every norm in the presidential ways, as they say. Now, but is breaking the norm, is that really breaking the law? I there mean, are, there are. Is getting Russian girls to pee on each other in Russia, is that really breaking the law? Depends what age they are. And depends if they ended up dead afterwards. It, it depends what age they are in Russia, too? Oh, yes. International law. <coughs> What's the international law? Sixteen? Uh, uh, no, the law states... That I don't know, so I don't want to, don't want to say. It. But I think uh, no, I'm just I've always been curious about that because I mean, well, dude, here's the thing: like, uh, if you go to a fucking uh, and and I'm not justifying like what this is, but like if you go to a thing and as far as you know, it's just a burlesque show, okay. but at the end of the burlesque show, all the bitches get lined up and shot. You know what I mean? And like because they're actually slaves and they and none of them know that they're going to die, but they, you know, like that that's just what happens. It's it's kind of like what, how we were joking at the fucking at the the wish store about how cheap everything is. Hmm. How how can they afford to do it? See, when really it's because we already know all this shit from China is made by kids. Like like I asked my dad the other day, you know, you grew up in a, because my dad grew up in a Catholic school, like, you know, he, the Catholic ways, so he was like a choir boy, like he was fucking, you know, going to the Catholic school, whatever, and doing all the Catholic things. Now, I said, you know, that was a fucking ongoing joke that Catholic school kids get molested. Like that was, I mean, not that it's funny. But like, that's just what, that was like common knowledge that you just knew that. Oh, you're a call. Oh, you're fucking with the call. Did you, you know? get molested? You you went to Catholic. You're school. a Catholic. Oh, you're a choir boy. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, that's cool. And actually, that was like even an insult in hip hop music was to say that you're a choir boy. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. you're because you're sucking dick in the back room. <laughs> like cause, like that's a negative thing, like right? A, well, a pastor. <laughs> you suck one dick, right? One pastor's <laughs> penis, and you never let it down. <clears throat> but. <clears throat> But I'm just saying, like, dude, like, nobody knew Liberace was gay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. didn't. Yeah, they well, didn't. They were blind. Like, they were, in, they, were, they were so enamored by his fucking flash mm-hmm. that they missed the ball. Well, in a sense. And, and to, to what us would seem like obvious, yes. it was like, ah, he's a dandy. Ah, in, in, right? In, the, in that vein... Trump is doing the same thing with crime. He's hitting you with so much of it that you're like, well, wait a minute, what's crime anymore? What's a lie anymore? What's not the truth anymore? Well, okay, so that, uh, yeah. So yeah, it's let's so get... blatantly out there that you don't even see it now. You can't, well, I don't know. I mean, he didn't shoot anybody on Fifth Avenue. If but they dude, would have showed me a video, maybe I'll believe Here's the thing, it. though. Here's okay. the thing. Bring it. Like, and and this is, I'm glad that, like, the weed's kicking in right now, this is, because I just now thought of this. And, and, and I, and, but it's not like I just, it's something that I kind of like have been thinking about because like part of the reason Trump won wasn't because it was rigged. It was, it, he won because there's a certain amount of people that believe in how he thinks. That believed so, the, the lines he was giving them. Well, bro. All the presidents have lines. Exactly. So let's not them. pretend that he, but, but that he's actually doing any of the things he said. Who's paying for that wall? Not Mexico. I don't know. I don't know. You, taxpayers. If you pay taxes, you are paying for that wall. Who's paying for these kids to be separated the, from but, their but parents? But the money. And be killed but it's not like you're paying custody. more. You, would you rather? What would, would you your rather tax have return money? like my tax return? Uh, I, I mean, owed California, and I got money from federal. But I get money from federal but, every but year. But you owed because you're in the service industry. Yes. You you have to pay back on your tips. Mm-hmm. What you claimed. Yep. Okay. So. 
um, the average person didn't have to pay back as many taxes, from what I understand. Like me, I was just straight service. Mm-hmm. I was just straight work, no tips. So you so, got money back. Well, but I'm not going to even go for it because I have, like, child support and all mm. kinds of fucking shit. So you. I'm just like, dude, you guys keep it. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about it later. But, um, I think that, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I, I feel like it's it's kind of like watching that fucking movie, The Irishman. How many times do you fucking hear this fucking story about this fucking crime family... And Pesci's in it, and fucking De Niro's in it, and fucking, and fucking, uh, Pacino's in it. You know what I mean? Ooh, and it, ooh, ooh, oh, come on, come on, give it to me, come okay. on. Should be back. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then fucking, uh, so, but dude, how many times have you seen that movie? And like... People are drawn to that shit. People, you like, you even like the Irishman. So in a way, you could easily just like Trump. Because you could just be like, (laughs) well, I'm just saying because, because like, here's what I liked about Trump as a kid. Okay. He had a fucking board game. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was like Monopoly, but it was Trump. I don't know. I never played it. I just Mm -hmm. saw it. And I and my cousin thought it was the dopest shit, and it was like his dream to own. But now, chances are he didn't he, design that game. Well, he just put his name on it. So that, you know, well, I mean, it's not at the it, time nobody was doing that, but Michael Jackson. Well, and he was doing it with Pepsi. There's better games, and we were cool with that. No, what fucking kid wants a Trump game when they're fucking twelve years old? Really. Really? I was about that. That's about right. What kid wants a Trump game when you're 12 years old? There's G.I. Joe's for Christmas. There's well, fucking the Transformers I like the idea. mask. And you want a Trump game? I like the idea because he knew how to make money. Now, to me, that was also nerd shit. Okay, that's... So. See, you're, you're propagating a myth. He inherited... Like four hundred and thirty-one million dollars from but his this dad. This is around the time of the Art of the Deal. He, he inherited when he became eighteen. So yeah. Art of the Deal was thirty-five. He inherited four hundred and something million dollars from his dad. Okay. He didn't create money. He lost it. He okay. lost it. He okay. lost all of that money. That's not a success. Casinos don't so go bankrupt. So he doesn't have any money right now. None. He borrowed money from... Why do you think Saudi Arabia came out the other day? The other day, Saudi Arabia, in the Saudi Arabia uh, news, I don't know whatever it's called, the Saudi Arabian Times, Right. The, they said, don't forget that Trump owes us money now. We gave him money before the Russians gave him money. And then he owes that Deutsche Bank money. He owes every... No one in... No banks in America will give him money. That's why he owes money abroad. He has but failed is... business after business after business. He's so... been charged, convicted of crimes. Trump University, he was fined $40 million. Why was he fined $40 because million? Because he defrauded people saying, oh, we can get you a job. You take our university. We'll get, you will learn. You'll go through Trump University, and you will get out, and we'll give, help get you a job. And it, everybody who went through lost all their money and got nothing. He couldn't do shit for them. It was It was like that... Was it Heal College? But that was recently? him, or was that Trump one of his... University? But that was, but that was one of those moments where he just put his name on something. It could have been, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. It's still, it was a fraud. He was, he defrauded, just like the Trump uh, Foundation that defrauded those people in, uh, in with the can- the cancer, and then St. Jude's Hospital in New York that they got fined two million dollars. He just, he just had to pay to the city of New, to New York uh, Attorney General. Because his, 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 they did a foundation thing and raised money for St. Jude, and then all the money they raised, they kept. And then St. Jude ended up having to pay for everything. Okay, back to my theory, okay. though. You're th- well, you, but like, your, I your premise is wrong. You're thinking no, but, he's rich. But I think, he's a phony. Okay, that's fine. Okay. But what I'm getting at is that there's a lot of people that think like me. There that, are. That vote. Yes. And there's a lot more people out there. That fucking, dude, like, cause I like the idea of Bernie, mm-hmm. but you know, I saw Bernie in person mm-hmm. 
You know? I'm one of those people that it's like if I go fucking see ACDC in person, I might have liked them more. Okay. You know what I mean? But I never did. I never went and saw them in person. (laughs) You know what I mean? Okay, but uh, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. And I feel like I'm, I'm the kind of person that would be like, you know, I like Nine Inch Nails. I go see them twice in one month. See them again. Three you times. know, fuck it, they're great. Perfect circles opening for them. That's like a win-win. Both times, two tits. Yeah, I don't even care who the other guy is. Two tits. So, but that's what I'm saying. So, so then. Like, if, uh, what's his name? If fucking, no, like if, uh, the eye patch guy could run for president. Like, I like his eye patch. Okay. I'd vote for him if I voted. Well, just because you like someone's face is not a good reason to vote for them. But I'm just saying, like, okay. all these other technicalities, all these other legal technicalities that don't, like... He actually he he didn't he step away from all of his business stuff. So isn't this like his son Who? fucking up shit, or is this Trump? before he became president? Trump. Yeah. He says he stepped away from his business stuff. That doesn't mean that he actually did. I don't believe he did. Well, but it doesn't matter. But, but all this other foundation issues and stuff like that, and the college crash and the fucking all that. Did was that was that while he was president? Did he was that... no 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 he he is paying the the case for the college. Went yeah. to court. Yeah. And the settlement is now, he has to pay. So, okay. So, let's, that the case, I don't know how long it continued, but, yeah, but the that, judgment has now been dude, three years in okay. the making. But so, so, so yes, now, it happened during his from, a, from the outside, you see that, you're like, ah, yeah, motherfucker, you gotta pay. For him, he's just yeah. like, oh, okay. No, 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 it's, it's, it's the shadiness. It's not, oh, I'm getting No, no, but, but everybody does it, and that's, that's what I was getting at, was, that's what I was gonna say, was, Watching the Irishman actually reminded me that, like, how, like, the litigation that I'm seeing with this impeachment thing, it's like everybody's dragging it on. Like, like, I, I, I have to laugh because it made me think about it as, as I'm looking at it, it, like, it's been a year and we're, and you're still like, impeach Trump, you know what I mean? Well, we're here now. But the litigation has taken all this time. It's taken a whole year. It is a legal process. Where, like, I don't know what else other these guys are supposed to do. You know, I don't know if that's what all these guys are supposed to be doing. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know what they're supposed to be doing, but I'm pretty sure, like, it wasn't supposed to be on, like, sitting in the fucking, in this room... Like, uh, making everybody line up and, and sit in the room with them. And They've only had, like, four witnesses? Because Trump won't let them. They, they, they've asked for hell of paperwork. Be- the White House won't give it up. They're, but they're obstructing justice. They've obstructed Congress. They're being impeached for that. Yeah, but, I mean, like... It, it... Don't blame the process, because it's a legal... And and it has to go steps. It has to but go. But that's what I'm saying. It just like it, it's like everybody's kind of stroking each other though. What is this thing? Just what? my little carb or crutch or whatever. Is it cool. Is it glass? Yeah. That's weird. It's just some fruity it's pebbles. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm just saying like that like. The what he what they're calling impeach impeachable isn't any of this stuff, any of these crimes like the being above the law thing. Like I don't think that that's going to be an issue. I think of anything like he's going to drag it out just like everybody would drag it out on the front end of shit. Like you know, obviously everybody wants fucking like uh, I want action now. You know what I mean? I want the, I want him to pay now. 
right? Mm-hmm. But he's like, yeah, 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 I'll fucking pay. And he'll, his lawyers will be like, yeah, we got. Like, it's gonna take twenty five years. No, because you're gonna get it in payments of two fifty a fucking month. Because oh. we got other things we gotta pay. Oh, that, that, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. I, you get what I'm saying? Oh, 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 don't trip, don't trip. You're gonna get your money. But uh, stay, hope you stay a foundation long enough. <laughs> you know that's typical. and that's part of the game. That's part of the fucking game. That, but like, but at the same time, that the people the that game. are victims of this situation are going to be like, ah, there's no fucking because I just watched this with murders. The the fucking uh, it's on Netflix, dude. Um, the confession, the confession killer. This <laughs> he like he actually. He killed, like, his mom and, like, two other people. Not a good like two, idea. You know, not a good dude. Mm-hmm. But then he started fucking confessing to other stuff. Just for fun? That wasn't true? Well, he confessed to, like, 600 murders. Damn. And, uh, and, like, and then, like, he, and then before he fucking died, he was like, Dude, I didn't kill any of those people. <laughs> like he was like the the cops gave me all the fucking they were get, they were feeding me the information <coughs> and I said that at the beginning of the of the ep, you know <coughs> it's like a mini series that I powered through you called it but I called it at the beginning I was like dude they've been like feeding him information I'm pretty sure it does you know just by how they're talking to him I can tell like they railroad they yeah and and so. Hey man, Poor here. Master. Look at these murders. Do you recognize that? Yeah, that's a uh, Cindy. Uh-huh. Yeah, Cindy. Give me, a, give me a her. list of names. I raped her right in the butt. Yeah. No, he, he would like, he, and then he'd say, yeah, like, I. It was like over this orange socks chick that turned everything. I mean, whatever. Sorry, fucking. What is that? What? what I, Sorry, master. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> let me ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, it's a kind of a similar subject. Do you feel that it's okay that Amazon uses our roads, uses our air to fly over, and our ground control to land? So those are tax dollars that they're sucking up, and but they're not paying for it. You're okay Why? with... Why? Yeah, exactly. Because these tax breaks. Why is it that on this... Ta- who why set is it, that up? Trump on this tax break that he this thing that he just passed through that he said that the individual they get tax breaks for I think three to five years once that three to five year window is over those tax breaks go away the corporations they continue to get these tax breaks so now Netflix Krispy Kreme Taco Bell all of these huge Amazon Walmart they're all not paying taxes. Okay, okay. And well, they're using our roads. They're but maybe ruining this our... is but 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 okay. This is all implemented in local jurisdictions, anyways. Road and, and stuff like that, you know. But uh, what I was going to say is, see, you this don't is votes. So you don't know. No, but I'm thinking. I, well, I'm thinking we already have those things. You're though. thinking that, but how come then we get when our voters? There's a maintenance comes, yard right over here. But, but of course. But how come we have to pay in our property taxes to pass a prop to get more money, more funding for roads? They raise the taxes for that. Well, because we're fucking paying too much for what's being done as it is. Like the, these guys are fucking lazy fucks. Like, have you ever seen? Like, there's like nine of them standing around I, one you know, hole. Hey, hey I, like, you know. and I'm not saying they're all lazy, but they know what they're doing. There's a lot of milking going on, and there's a lot of fucking triple pay going on because fucking they're not I'm hiring enough people. Half. So yeah, so like, um, you know, shit needs to be. Uh, economically uh, restabilized on that, like some reality checks need to come into play. Reality check. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I like that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, uh, uh, dude, and and I would make I would make every uh, town like this at least this size, 35 miles an hour everywhere you go. Reason being, hmm. you're gonna be able to clock it perfectly. Nobody's going to be jammed up. Like, everybody's going to be able to move fluidly. And if you're going faster than that, then you're on drugs and we don't need you. Because you're you're rushing. 
Mm. Like your shit's off. And you're not fucking part of the community. What do you think like about that, those... It's going to help the fucking Teslas, too. At stop signs, that it comes up for the crosswalk. To make you stop. Like a little little metal beams come up from the ground. As, the ye- as it turns yellow, that literally means slow your ass down. Because well, this is coming up. There's a, you know, there's a lot of um, people that, dude, I've seen people go over roundabouts like fucking ramps and they just got to keep going because they can't, you know, they can't be dealing with the cops yeah. or they can't be dealing with the radiator right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that, like they, it's time to go. Like, I, you I gotta go, you gotta yeah, go. I got to keep going. Um, but yeah, so it's. I think that a lot of the roads could be monetized better, um, but I see how three to five years is still a very small amount of time for a corporation like Taco Bell or whatever to get their feet up underneath them. But I've even seen it in my own local Taco Bell, the turnover, because they're only, a, 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 you know, able to do so much, like, because of how they're limited. They're only allowed to give out, they, everybody has to be part-time, you know what I mean? And everybody only gets 12 hours a fucking week, or whatever cool. it is, total, and it's like, you know, three, four, three days at four hours each, mm-hmm. or whatever. That, and that's how they're, they're trying to fucking just keep their doors open. You know, skeleton crews, mm. two people, one person at night. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and that, and, the, and these managers that are fucking making their own lives hell by trying to make these numbers right for them are heroes. You know, um, I, it, and that's how you know. I don't know. It's crazy how like it, how easy it can be afflicted by the community. And so, like, to say that, well, Trump's given them a leg under, or, or, or give them a couple legs, uh, which three to five years is very small for a corporation to fix itself. You know, no, it's a, it's a sink or swim. Well, Amazon. Amazon They're getting it, those tax breaks it, forever. It, oh, well. Uh, you, the individuals, are getting a three to five year window with just this tax break. Maybe and then it goes back up to the normal one. So maybe it equates to how many jobs they're, pu- they're putting out then. Yeah, but then what kind of, like you said, what kind of jobs are they? Are they the Taco like Bell? Like Uber jobs? Yeah, ooh. They're like, no, I'm just saying. Like, I know, like Uber's you, not good. No, 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 I'm but, saying you become a driver like that. Like, they're like, oh, hey, hey here's your van, here's your uniform, mm. you're your own UPS guy. Yeah, well, Come that's what UPS is doing this year. Yeah. And I hear that's not working from a UPS driver. It, oh, yeah, no. It's, it's of course, mess. from a UPS driver, it's going to be a mess. Well, he's because working 12-hour gonna, days. Because it's going to re-initialize how things are, you know, are going to be balanced. It's kind of like it's kind of like when Uber and Lyft stepped on the scene with Taxi. Mm-hmm. You try to get a fucking ride home on Thanksgiving night. Mm-hmm. It's not happening. Not on Uber and Lyft. Because everybody has given the option. The The, you know... Isn't that called socialism fail? Because <laughs> everybody was given the option not to work whenever they don't want to work with Uber and Lyft. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm. You're not like regulated to, oh, you have to work on Thanksgiving, bro. Oh, yeah. man, I wanted to spend it with my family, but I got to work. Yeah, but like, nobody does those, that whenever the they're given hours, the option. holiday hours, though, they're, they're charging the, more. No, no, no. You couldn't even get a driver out here. Well, that's because they were probably they also every, used up. Nope. There wasn't... Uh, every driver we got canceled. Because they were like, shit. <laughs> ah, damn it. I, I'm not driving. I'm not going to work. I'm either. not working. It's 11. It, yeah. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, okay. And and, okay. Uh, and so... That's why we need trolleys. But no, for sure. For sure. But but this is... The thing was, it didn't even... Like, I'm so Lyft and Uber oriented now. That it didn't even occur to me to call a taxi until the next morning whenever I was getting up and a taxi went by. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. And I was like, oh, uh, I bet. A fucking taxi I bet there was a... But that's that's the old way, quote unquote. You know, that's the elderly way to fucking do things. And, and actually, that's still like a proven entity. And so that's... I think that that's... A lot of the transition, to, you know, you were talking about um, uh, 
Can we talk? Can we talk about Trump's underwear? Oh, that he poops his pants. Yeah. Well, that is what that what he says. That's what I've heard. So I mean, he's how old? Seventy. He's in what seventy two, something like that. I mean. So and you, I mean, you're taking a you're golfing with him. You're on the golf course with that's Trump. That's a good time to shit yourself. You're bro. on the golf course. With Trump, that's you a good swing away. You hit a beautiful <laughs> drive down this beautiful, this par four, and then Trump comes up and just, you know, right in his mid swing, just shits his pants. Real stinker. What are you gonna do? You are gonna just sit there. I can taste it. It's so gross. <laughs> yes. And then he offers you a bump of Adderall. I mean, come yeah. on, come on. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Bump. Adderall. Well, that's right. Ugh. That's what's making him shit himself. Is the Adderall? Yeah, definitely. And the diet coke. <sighs> yeah, the diet coke's not good. God, I gotta get this taste out of my mouth. Hmm. He loves you. Mm-mm. You, you know, and that's why. But these are acceptable things for an older man. You mm. like? I'm just saying, dude. In front of world leaders, he's, he's we want to. He's we wanted to do that, and and dude, I don't think that I'm a I, like. I actually I thought I was a Stalinist, but then uh, somebody told me that I might be a libertarian. Hmm. I don't know. I thought I was. What an do anarchist. you think? I thought, uh, I, thought I was an anarchist at one point, like for like a week. But now I care. A nihilist. Nihilism. You know? Ni- nihilist didn't even happen until the Big Lebowski. Yeah, I was gonna say. Is even so fake, but uh, you know, dude, you know what's what's tripped me out in the last few years is my realization of the violence in in the Oregon state, like you know, how, like Portland and stuff like that, like all the the just the college area. Uh, I'm the, more concerned with the Bundy ranchers when they took over that whole fucking that was state park area. <laughs> That's kind of more concerning to me than, than whatever crimes going all on those in guys Portland. Got, <laughs> Some all those guys got window. killed, though. No, no, they they didn't. They got away. No, they got killed. How many of them got killed? One, all two? the main ones. No, because yeah. all of those Bundy ranchers are still fucking. They they moved from the Bundy Ranch up to that Portland bullshit. I don't know. The, yeah, what kind of shit is that? Do you see those cadets? At the Army Navy game doing the white power thing, dude. I don't know if that's white power though. It, well, <sighs> I know, I know. It's been debated, it, but dude, it, it's did, all. Do you ever? Did you ever do this though? I did used ever, to do this, right? You know, below the knees. And I, we're doing and the OK symbol yeah, for yes. the listeners, and then. The, the the warriors double okay. the warriors go for do this for three do the okay for three okay for three or just the one Steph Curry okay. is so that's synonymous. Wh- that actually is white power when you do it like that Wait, like if you're doing it you know because you're making a P I thought this no was it's the, this way this, yeah it's the left the left hand I don't know I I, yeah, I think I, I used know, to spell know. bloods backwards when I tried to do the gangster. Oh, those are finger. very good hand signals. Blood. Blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, kids. but yeah. So, um, uh, no, dude. I. Who are you thinking this time around? I mean, obviously, I know that you were up for Bernie. Um, Mm, you know, because I saw you at the Bernie thing. I don't like Bernie anymore because he has, uh, his manager at the time when I was for him was Tad Devine, who was a cast off from Tad Devine, Tad Devine. And he's, Ah! he's, that can't be his real name. Swear to the goodness. It's too fake. And he is an associate. (laughs) What's your name? Fancy for (laughs) hell's a shit. (laughs) <laughs> anyway, he also was associated with Paul Manafort, who is in prison. So that's why I do not like in Bernie anymore, or nor endorse him. I do like Elizabeth Warren and okay. her... See, I loved Kamala. She but seems she's crazy, out. though. Well, she will really, really fuck up corporations as far as, you know, taxing them the way they should be. 
you she's know. She's like, um, yeah, she she's kind of Margaret Thatchery to me. I can I can see that. Because she now used to be a Republican, so she's a very fiscally conservative uh, uh, Democrat. So she would be, you know, she'd get some of those people who are independents who used to be Republicans but are very turned off by Trump. And she'll, you know, and, she, and if she has, she says the right thing, she'll get all the left leaners who would want, you know, free everything. Where's my Obama phone? Where's my yeah grilled cheese from Elizabeth Elizabeth Warren? I don't know. She she always seems kind of nuts to me, man. Well, like I said, that's going to be the primary vote. If she okay, but so who else then? Then uh, what that, about the what's, ultimately what about the one, Joe Biden? Uh, Biden. Biden. He's been. He is Uncle Joe. You know, he's a he's an old man. Yeah, but he's s- steady, smooth. He's got Obama's credentials. Oh, oh. what's this fucking? What what's the deal with his son? Okay, a lot of people are concerned about his son. His son was a Georgetown University graduate. During his time from in Georgetown, yeah. he um, started law school. Stopped doing the law school at Georgetown. Went to Yale and finished his uh, law degree at Yale. Yeah. So that he's a Georgetown a Yale graduate. He got a job on a Ukrainian oil company's <laughs> wait, wait, board wait. of directors. Hold on, Yale. It just now occurred to me. Uh, so I'm just laying the groundwork of how somebody... No, but Yale. He Yale. went to Yale. Yale. Has a law degree from Yale. So this is somebody who usually makes money when they get out of school. Correct? Yeah. So anyway, he went and got a job on this board of directors for an oil company in Ukraine. They uh, worked there for maybe a few years. How do you years. get to be a board of directors in Ukraine? I have no clue about that. But this is just, this is just the facts. I do know that he did get a job yeah. as the owned board of directors. Maybe he was part of the English delegation to get work with Exxon or something. I don't know. So what was that shit where Biden said, like, And I told him! You better do what I say or (laughs) you're not getting what you need. And then they did it. And then boom. Because I'm leaving in 24 hours. Okay. I I saw that. I saw him say that. So what happened was with that was there was a Ukrainian prosecutor who was not doing his job. He was letting the corruption continue. This Ukrainian prosecutor. What what was the corruption? He was. um, Well, Ukraine is very corrupt. Because, you know, they're being t- attacked by Russia, and so some money's being funneled to some people that sh- probably shouldn't get it. And so the to government... To Russia? The, to, to Ukraines who were working with Russia or okay with corruption, and they were try- and the Americans wanted to make sure they weren't just giving empty barrels of cash to this country. So hmm. they said, get rid of these people who are corrupt, who are giving money to warlords or doing things that aren't to the betterment of... Ukraine. Right. And so there was one prosecutor who was letting these companies or people get off all the time. They weren't being prosecuted when he would get their cases. And so Joe Biden said, listen, we have money for you, but you cannot, we will not give it to you with this corrupt person. We have proof. Your government has proven to us that this man is corrupt. We've proven ourselves that he's corrupt. We need him removed or we're not giving you this money. And so that's what they removed him for. Because he was corrupt to the Ukrainians. Now, 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 even if he was corrupt, though, was he proven corrupt? Yes, by the Ukrainians. The Ukrainian government was saying this man so, is corrupt. We need him removed. And the and well, well, but well, then why wasn't why wasn't he just being removed? Because he was corrupt. He was able to keep power. He would pay people off, and you know he would stay in power. He, and so they finally, the U.S. said, hey, you really want it? You want this? Because we had been helping them, and we needed, they they wanted more. And so we said, hey, we'll give it to you, but you need to get rid of the corruption. And this guy's the, it all leads to him. Get rid of it. Hmm. And that's what that was about. He wasn't investigating, or he may have been investigating Trump's, or Biden's son, but the Ukrainian government also cleared Biden's son of any wrongdoing 
working for that company. There was they were on the up and up apparently, according to now, the Ukrainians. Do you still? But but isn't that still a, a whatever that quid quo pro? Sure, but sh- uh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't say it's a quid pro quo when both governments are on the same page of getting rid of corruption. Right, but it was still like. Like Biden even kind of like bragged about it though. That because what he, he wanted, how he bragged about it seemed like he was like, yeah, bro, I just did like a quick quote, bro. Well, I don't think he did that. I think he was just very proud of the fact that hey, look, we're in there, we're ending this corruption to make Ukraine better. We're but not he gonna, was like, we're not, but it was, the, we're not going to give you guys aid if you don't do what we say. Correct. But he wasn't. He wasn't running for office while he was doing it. Also, he wasn't, and he was really rooting out corruption. Unlike Trump, who wanted to announce that they were rooting out corruption, didn't even care about an investigation because he already had the investigation and it proved there was no corruption. But he wanted one to come out the way he wanted, where there was something there and there isn't anything there. So, do you think that whenever Trump says? I don't want a quick quote, bro. It was because he he already somebody had already like fucked up and delivered a quid quo pro quo pro. Sorry. Well, he probably did. Yeah, whatever Trump says, he's probably done. Whatever he accuses somebody else of, he's done. That's the way all the GOP work. Mm. Lately, hmm. like Giuliani's son, yeah, works at the White House. $90,000 a year. You know what he does? He's a sports liaison. So any sports team that com- comes to the White House, he talks to. Mm-hmm. That's not... Yeah. That's not... That's okay? Yeah. Well, somebody's got to be trusted. Yeah, so why yeah, not be sure. Giuliani's son? Well, yeah, that's his lawyer's son. Yeah. You trust him. <laughs> I guess. I mean, it's also kind of like... If you were Giuliani's son, you'd be like, hell yeah, I'm worth 90 grand a fucking year. Yeah, but it's also nepotism. and you know, 90,000 like, ain't much in New York, bro. Hey, I'm not... I or, don't the, or, or, or D.C. Well, to, when your dad's uh, as corrupt and illegal as Giuliani, you know, fuck it. That's you probably like, don't have to worry about 90,000. It's chump change. But to everyone else, it's, it's a good chunk of money. Yeah, but dude, like, was he gonna have like an MTV contest? The, no, liaison the guy... for Trump. Hey, bro, we got Dennis Rodman out here. He's gonna be one of our judges. It could be someone <laughs> who was in the sports industry. I don't know. No, no, because then you'd have like a weird impartials, and plus, like, <sighs> Trump isn't really tight with anybody like that. Well, yeah, because he's only tight with mobsters. Yeah. That's, but dude, that's why everybody likes him. That <laughs> goes back to my theory. theory like what? what uh, well, dude, like everybody likes fucking t- losers. Everybody likes fucking dude. Guys who I'll shit sh- themselves. Harvey <laughs> Keitel's appearance in The Irishman was like, ha ha! Look, they brought all the gangsters together. Harvey Keitel, that was that was lovely. Okay, the wolf, seeing the wolf come. Okay, back. so so like. Um, we, dude, people like that shit. So, like, whenever, like, we, it's kind of like, we were like, hey, look, we're gonna let this guy run. Ah, oh, shit, my grandpa wouldn't, wouldn't have thought he was gonna win. Ah, oh, fuck, he won. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no! Well, I guess we could just, like, win next time. Maybe we'll win next time, <laughs> but it's not like that. It's got. It's like let's spend every year because how come, dude? Even if he gets impeached, it's gonna be at the end of his term. It's gonna be at the end of his term, just like fucking Clinton, and then he's just not gonna win this next time. <laughs> but he'll still probably run. <laughs> no, he will, because they have no one else, dude. Uh, have they even had any Republican fucking uh, uh, debates? What? Have they had any Republican debates? No. None. <laughs> None. How come the, all the Democrats are arguing? What do you think about that, that universal income guy? Oh, Yang? Yeah. 
uh, I mean, it's a great idea. It's it's something that n needs to happen eventually because the it, the automation of jobs is going to wipe out eight hundred million jobs. Yes, I but I but I think he will lay the groundwork to. Um, Opening people up to what's coming, what's happening. We have to prepare. I don't think. I don't think you can. Well, you have to be forward thinking. You have to be forward acting on many, many different fronts on on the environment, on on policies, on money. You know. Is he? Who? He seems wild west to me. Joe Biden. Yeah, he, he seems talks old. wild west from the hip. He's Uncle Joe. He, you know, he might. Know. You know, he's weird. He might call you a fat ass. You know, he might tell you to shut the fuck up, call yeah. you a liar. Yeah. But that's you know, he's gonna, he's not gonna sugarcoat it. But he's also not gonna fucking go up there and fuck everything up. He has a history. He knows what goes on in the world of politics. He's not gonna be a, a buffoon. That people are making fun of. He's going to have people around him, a cabinet, that know what they're doing. I mean, the guy who fucking was in charge of uh, the European ambassador, who's mm -hmm. involved in all of this. He's the Euro European ambassador. He's involved with this Ukraine shit. He shouldn't even be there, but he's involved with it. The reason he's the, uh, the, the European ambassador, he donated a million dollars to Trump's inauguration. This guy owned hotels, okay? His... his that's that well, was that makes his, sense. No, it does not. Because oh. you, I, it's not okay to buy access to buy something like that. You should be. He, but he probably didn't buy it. Though. He it was like, paid it was like and, he get he he donated, and then Trump was like, never you know what him. I'm gonna do? You're he never, awesome, yeah. bro. I'm gonna. I mean, I'm just sorry. The president office should not be able to be bought. That alone, right there, on that fact that he paid a million dollars. Hey, I don't know. He's a hotel owner. What does what he about, know about what being about, an ambassador? Um, <laughs> okay, dude. I, and maybe I got my history all wrong. But what about fucking uh, Bobby Kennedy? They made laws against nepotism, so you can't have your brother doing certain things. After that, yes, just because of it. That okay. are now that are now being looked at the other way as Ivanka and Jared are in office. These laws are being ignored. They 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 what, had to how. Be, because they were denied, because the president has power. They were denied security clearances numerous times. Jared especially. He kept lying on his paperwork. And they kept saying, I'm sorry, we can't give you a pass. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> and Trump overrid it. <laughs> because he has that power. What was he lying about? About yeah. how much money he has. About where he was getting his money. He's a bank, a, 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 a property in New York. 666 Park Avenue that he had to take hell of money uh, from Saudi Arabia with to, to pay off because he was so out of money. And now he, they're influencing him on his decisions. We're giving Saudi Arabia these uh, these weapons that are like super advanced. Sick. So that's why there's something wrong with it. You know, because they can be... Saudi Arabia has like... Uh, oh no, that's... Uh, Dubai. Never mind. You know that they're buying our Trump is okaying our military to go to Saudi Arabia to defend them in a in a war that they're having. So Saudi Arabia doesn't have to deal with it. It's in their own you know it's going to be on their country on their turf. This war is going to be supposedly and they and Trump okayed our troops to go and defend that the Saudi Arabia so they don't have to fight their own war. So our American soldiers have to die. So so Donald Trump and his sons and son-in-law can get loans. Mm. I don't think it's okay. I think we've done that before, though. I don't know. Didn't we I do don't that think with the Obama administration? Isn't that what we were doing? He's never been investigated for anything. And he, in eight no, years, he was never investigated for any wrongdoing because the only thing they have on him is the Fast and Furious. What's the Fast and Furious? They thought it would be a good idea to release AK-47s onto the streets so they could find out where they were going and how they were getting out, and then they would be able to bust the people. Well, they didn't track them very well, and they ended <laughs> up being used, like, in Mexico for, like, some cartel killings and stuff. And so that's, they call it the Fast and Furious. It was, it was, a, it was a blotch on his. That's the only thing. No one ever got arrested. No one ever got charged. Wow. Trump's already had seven associates now who are in prison or who have been or going to prison. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying there's something corrupt here. 
There is there there is no corruption with Obama at all, and you you know what I mean. No, there was nothing except the Fast and Furious. Wasn't there like uh, some he, Clinton murders or something? The Whitewater investigate. Okay, what got Pizzagate? No, what uh, Whitewater start? It was a property deal. That's what started his impeachment thing. But then they couldn't find anything there, so it became this murder thing with Vincent Foster, who just happened to kill himself. Mm-hmm. Then there was another. Then it became the blow. Then, oh yeah, <laughs> people kill themselves all the time. I uh, know, but um, I don't know, man. It seems like that. Like, oh, you need you to know find what? out about what it. What do you think about Epstein? I mean, the camera didn't work. The guards were asleep. "Quote unquote asleep." Yeah, asleep. Yeah, the guards yeah. are asleep. Okay. The yeah. cameras broke. Okay. Did you see? Did you ever watch uh, Louder with Crowder? No. He uh, he reenacted, you know, the, the force it would take to oh. break his neck. You know, like they they had like a physician there, like stunting it. You know, uh, he was like evil Knievel. But and, and he's like trying to break his own like neck. break his own neck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not, just get the pressure up. Yeah. He, he had like a neck brace on and helmet and everything. And so he, it was pretty hard. But he was yeah. It was it was pretty impossible. Uh, but it's convenient. It, it cleaned up a lot of everybody he could have been a witness to. I mean, the prince, Prince Andrew, of the royal family is caught up in that child molest. The you know that whole Epstein shit. Yeah. I mean, Bill Clinton was on this. He used Bill Clinton on his. He had him on his plane a couple times. No, uh, and uh, somebody sent me the the painting of what of Bill Clinton in drag. Oh, oh God! Like Dude. sitting in a chair, like that he had in in like one of the main rooms at Epstein's mansion. Yeah, oh. yeah, cute. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think uh, you think Hillary's gonna run? No. No? No. You think she's hung it up? Oh, yeah. She's going to stick to murder? Yeah, she's not going to welcome that shit. I mean, maybe after Trump gets arrested and it's all, you know, all said and done. But, I mean, okay. So, there's a lot of stuff that you don't like about Trump. What do you like about him? There's something that he's done that you've been like, oh, okay. Like, there's got to be something. I'm glad that he... Didn't leave the farmers high and dry and yeah. gave them the bailout money, but sadly... That's nice. Sadly, that money will never be paid back, unlike the auto bailout. Yeah. I mean, we gave Maybe. them... Maybe. We I gave them know. $89 million. They They paid back $79 million. Oh, well... In the auto bailout, so we only paid $10 but billion still, for that. But he still did pretty good for the farmers. He did well. Hopefully, hopefully. But see, then again, not all the farmers. I don't know any local farmers that got any money. My buddy George has thirteen acres. He didn't see any money. Yeah. There's a company in Brazil that was growing strawberries that received like twenty eight million. A Brazilian company got some of the bailout money. Thank God for that. You yeah, know, yeah. our taxpayer money went to Brazil. That Why would there. how would that work? Because they bought property here. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I'm assuming. Hopefully, hopefully. If it's legit, yeah, well, or are we just paying somebody some dirty money, yeah. cleaning it up for them. No, there, dude. There's you never know. <laughs> there's a for sure. There's a lot of, um, uh, yeah. There's a lot of interesting things going on in agriculture. Yeah. For sure. Um, T-I-D- what about the wall? Like, I mean, regardless of who's paying for it, uh, do you think that it's gonna reduce, um, you know, fatalities on the borders and uh, illegal crossings and stuff like that? Do you think it's going to... I don't think so. No? People have always tried to come to America. That's what Statue of Liberty is all about. For sure. But but the Statue of Liberty isn't standing on a box of people. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I guess technically it kind of is. But uh, <laughs> but it's cases. not supposed to like she isn't like supposed to be like the statue that's smuggling a bunch of fucking illegal undocumented people. Well, yeah, they were undocumented when they were coming through Ellis Island. They got documents. They changed their names. Well, we just changed policies, though. You know, well, policies why can't we have change changed. policies again. 
get people uh, coming through, uh, uh, you know? Because, Why does it take seven years? Because if we don't document people to into our system, True. then for one, we can't provide them proper uh, education on how, you know, how to interact in our society, like driver's license, voting, registration, um, other, you know, uh, social security, uh, otherwise uh, universal Medicare. Like, all these things need to have a documentation, so they need your thumbprint. They need to know what your real name is. They need, to, they need to know if you have AIDS. They need to know if you're bringing in leprosy. Of course. You know, we, like, Course. we need these kinds of check systems. Totally. Like, totally. and we could probably set one up, like, the, on fucking Idiocracy, where you just go through and everything, you know, everybody just sticks a thing in your butt, and fucking, we tell you what your DNA is, and where you're from, and fucking... If where, it was protected, And, and whether or not you're going to be able to come in, because you got fucking leprosy. And well, then, then you're going to move to Antarctica. You're if gonna, somebody's coming here because we can fix leprosy, they, we should probably try and help them. But you can't just fucking come in, start working at a melon patch, and start peeing in the fucking corner of the garden, fucking because fucking we're not providing you with proper health care because you're not documented, because we have no way of regulating your employer for, to make sure that you have the proper health care and all, the proper insurance included. California, anybody God, I has sound so care. smart right now. Anybody Is that in your California, weed? Anybody in California <laughs> can have health care. If you're low income, you can have Medi Cal is out there, right? But dude, like, there's you there's can get, there's there's reasons that we have to have documentation. Oh, of course, of course. But then this, the thing is, it, we need to fix the backlog. Seven years is too long of a process. Remember uh, to get into to remember get that part on the Irishman whenever they're <laughs> voting the Irishman. and they're voting and they, and the, well because I thought it, this is one part that I didn't see in any other uh, De Niro or Pesci movies okay yeah. and that was walking through the cemetery there was like fi there's like fifteen dudes all walking through the cemetery writing down names for voter registration oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. To get people elected uh, yeah. in their districts and shit like that so they could protect it with the mob. Um, hmm. Interesting. Like, I, without proper documentation and vetting, because we do not need people with bad intentions here. We don't want drug dealers. We don't want rapists. Like, I see why all, the, all, those, all those words that he used, like, he used them towards a certain person that's crossing the fucking border and so everybody went ah i'm not a rapist i'm a hispanic you know like the, and they all took it to heart but like we, we all knew with that he i mean I've, I've heard him say it in multiple things i think everybody knew that he meant the ms-13 guys and i just heard the ms-13 in the news today ah oh they're coming no they're on they're uh, coming. npr npr ah, doing a thing i'm so frightened yeah. i'm frightened for for the m13 i think it was a a small desk concert oh tiny there, music <laughs> yeah <laughs> was it courtney barnett uh but uh, i i i think that like i think that we needed this, even if it was bad, even if some bad things happened. I think so. Some, we go to another recession. What? Well, we're supposed to, aren't we? I have no idea. Well, no, no, no. Like, I, from what I understand, mathematically, we're supposed to, and it could be during Trump. It could be. What if it? If it? If it doesn't happen during Trump, and you guys get him out. Okay, if everybody that hates him fucking ah and throws him over the Realizing cliff, okay. Up. Then fucking who's next is gonna get the recession? It doesn't matter. It could be if it, if you guys let Trump keep going, it will be during Trump's reign. And if you don't, if you stop him as soon as you can, and I and and like it's gonna be whoever's next, just because of how things are set up at that time that I heard this. Okay, and this was like six months ago, mm -hmm. but I have heard. That there's other things that he's done that have been financially beneficial, like you just you even told me, right about the Taco Bell and everything, like three to five months, like getting getting some fucking uh, you know tax write offs. They're getting yeah corporate yeah Amazon. It's going to help free ta tax free and yeah. and Amazon maybe they're subcontracting it 
you know, maybe it's uh, how they're they're subcontracting their empl- their employees, like that they don't have to because they're just like the shell, they're the hub, and everybody's paying for their own taxes and their own wages. Mm. You know what I mean? That's great for the corporation, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's why you create one. You want to start one? No. It sounds like they got good ideas. <laughs> it sounds, I guess. Ripping, ripping the little guy off. Go for it. Well, but it's not ripping off the little guy if that's how. When there's it works. no more mom and pop shops, and then all you're shopping through is Amazon, and then well, they shut down the supermarkets because Amazon will ship you everything. I mean, that, but there's anybody. There's always going to be a crowd of people that take advantage of that, and there's always going to be a crowd of people like us that do things organically because if we try to do it the other way. They get spoiled, they get misshipped, we don't get to eat on time, fucking shit gets fucked off. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Which leads us to our fucking finale of the show. Oh, but up but up but up. I'm gonna go fucking put this fitness meal in the microwave. No. No, no, I just want no. you to look at it. Oh, I'll look okay. I'm not and if you feel like tasting it. Never No, it's just chicken, bro. Like it's it's not it's not a fucking it's not like some protein fucking weird souffle you know what I mean like I don't know like like because okay so I texted you hey you gotta try this fitness meal and you can give a review and you and you said I'm not on a diet man don't give me that shit don't, don't give me that, me that shit. shit but here I'm gonna grab it oh no oh he's going to the fridge. He's pulling out a red box. I'm gonna bring you the label so you can um, you can you know review the the macros if you will. Oh, it's got macros in it. So this takes. Uh, I do this a certain way. I do it for six minutes, and then I puncture holes, and then I do another two minutes to what? like top it off with a you know another little heat blast because the veggies. Sometimes stay a little cold at the bottom. Well, that's no fun. Um, ju- maybe just because of their density. So this is called Fitness Meal. Yeah. Chicken breast with olive tapenade with broccoli and spinach mushroom. Wow, that really sounds in- intense. There's some flavor in there. Dude, it's... Okay, I wish that I had the other flavors here because there's four flavors total. Um, there's And they're all different meats. So if you were doing this as like a, a meal plan, mm-hmm. um, and and I'm doing it because all I have left on my body is visceral fat, and which is my trunk, uh, which is what's in my organs. It's making it hard to breathe. You know what I mean? I like it. It's fucking with my blood pressure because I have this intense fat around my bones and my and inside my bones around my organs. Um, so I, yeah. And so to release all this pressure on my organs, um, I got to do the keto, which basically it's, uh, protein, it's protein, veggies, veggies. no fucking carbs. Uh. Um, but with this, this is actually locally made. Um, and, and it's manufactured just over the hill in, uh, Livermore. May, and you can buy it where? Um, well, we have them at Max Muscle. Oh. Uh, they're also at Save Mart, and they're also on Target.com. Oh, wow, so this <laughs> so, is legit. Yeah, yeah, So are yeah. you going to be on Shark Tank soon? Well, um, there's a few things, uh, I can say some people have been contacted, and there's, uh, some awesome things in the works well that sounds lovely um you know so you know some some shark tank guys have been contacted Mm. from my understanding i think that this would go really really well on shark tank especially with uh well that's what i was gonna say so this one is very uh it's it's one that i eat every day because that's uh, i i just basically grabbed up what was left um but there's an asada Mm. Um, very spicy, very good. We can um, get that. And then there's a turkey, which is kind of like um, it's ground turkey, uh, but, but with the other fixins, uh, it's all like riced veggies, mm. um, so it's easy to uh, digest, uh, which is awesome. 
Um, so you're absorbing the nutrients. Shit right yeah. Out. Oh well, dude. And it's and it's not like um, yeah, it's not like cat shit, you know. It's healthy it's, poo. It's a healthy poo. That's wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. yeah, for sure. Um, and then the last one is the pork, and it's like a shredded pork. Um, one has like more of like a, a steamed pork. The 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 pork is kind of like um, like a steamed pork. It's really good. Um, but then the turkey is almost like somewhere between like Asian or Indian, you know, um, spice. Not, yeah, yeah. It's not very spicy. Mm -hmm. It's like the other two dishes. Like these are more, uh, flavor, more, uh, flavor for sure. Um, but it's almost got like a Chinese food, uh, vibe, you know, cause the riced veggies in it mm -hmm. and everything. Like I just mix it all together. Yep. Into one big, uh, you know, thing, and I don't know. I and really it's enjoy good it. taste, dude. It for a fitness, you know, based meal. It's keto, um, so it's going to help you burn off the visceral fat and the and the uh, you know the the fat, the, all the bad stuff. Basically, it's going to help you clean out. So it's not about pr proportion. It's really about what you're eating. Well, calories wise, I mean, you you definitely are going to eat. You know, a couple of these a day. Um, you know, this is only 300 calories per meal. Oh, wow. Okay. And so... Does it uh, fill you up? It, it tides you over. Mm. You know what I mean? So, you like, if you're doing the keto, you're going to want to eat about every couple of hours. Um, and so, you know, and then you're going to fast while you sleep. Um, and so, like, me, I, I kind of push it. Like, right now, I'm going to, like, sometimes I'll have it for breakfast. Mm. Like, as soon as I get up, like, I'll, I'll do my exercise, and uh, uh, and then I'll, I'll heat one up. And it's, like, it's so good that even if I'm not in the mood, like I said, like, right now, uh, this is the flavor, you know, that I have the most of. Um, actually, it's all I have left. <laughs> I have like six of these left, um, but it's uh, it's very it, it's a uh, it's just a really good flavor. So now I'm, I've got it here. Got the chicken. I can see the olives there. Very intrigued with the spinach and the mushroom. Interesting that the broccoli looks like a rice, and so that makes it easier to digest quickly. Well, yeah, because it's like, you know, one of the problems with people and obesity uh, is, or, or just malnutrition overall is that they're not uh, chewing it up enough. Mm. And so this is already like shredded, riced, as they call it. Um, so it's, it's that much easier. Like, you, you know, a couple of chomps. And it's, it's done, and it's you know, and it's ready for it's the ready, stomach. It's ready acid. for the stomach, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know, same with the spinach. It's this. Oh my god, dude! The the spinach in this is so fucking good. <laughs> wow! <laughs> like like it. It's one of my favorite. It's got almost like a wine flavor. Mm. Um, Hello. Hello. How are you, dear? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Living the dream. Right. You ready for Every Christmas? Day. Never. Oh. Never ready for Christmas. Good to see you. I haven't been ready for Christmas in 10 years. I'm lost. Uh oh. So. Oh, it smells lovely. Well, it looks much different than I than the video. Now, let me see this. Okay, let me get a little of this on there. Okay, a little bit of olive and chicken. Mmm, that was not something... No, not bad. That's a good TV dinner, I tell you what. Now this... Wait, and your it's favorite is this one. Yeah, yeah, that's spinach. And so I should expect a wine taste? Mmm. I like the chicken... A lot better than I like the spinach and mushroom. But now I'll try the rice. Is this... Or this no, this is uh, rice broccoli. Broccoli rice. Yeah. I miss butter. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and dude, it's keto, so you can add butter. Oh. You know, you if you want to add a slice of butter to it, that's not going to fuck up the keto. And that is going to tide you over for how many hours? That's a couple hours. And then what are you going to have in a couple hours? Another one of those. Oh. Different flavor. You know, or another one. I, dude, I can eat these. Like I said, th- these are my favorite one. So it's like, it's just, you know, and I eat them differently. Sometimes I eat it with a chopstick mm-hmm. and I always like pick at it. How fun. You know, but no, it's not the asada health meal. Like you kind of figure the asada is like a bigger piece of meat. Uh, the, the turkey is actually about the same size because it's like a ground, you know, turkey. I would, I agree with you by mixing them all up. That's the smart decision. Try it. No, 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 no. Try mixing them. No, no, no. (laughs) You hated it. No, no, no. I didn't, no, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. That would be, you know, how, how, no, you, you can't say how much you've lost already, right? Because I did see that you put your, um, yeah, actually, your paperwork up there. Yeah, I, and we just did another weigh in yesterday. Um, and so I've lost another three pounds in okay. a week. Uh, the first week I lost like five. And um, do you have anything to say about the jack in the box I found in your truck? <laughs> Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Then, no, actually, the other day I went to Wendy's and spent like eleven dollars. Hot juicy redhead. And I and I got uh, like some of the the double burgers oh. and uh, some chickens and a bacon burger. And then I but then I ate it all to just the meats. I gave the bread to the I dogs. Got a whole pile of buns. Oh my gosh! Why didn't you just get lettuce wrapped? Because that, it, it'd just be soggy. Oh, no, no. It's yeah. delicious. I just I don't tell them what I'm doing, because then you get the pickles and the onions, too. If you tell them what you're doing, then they get all weird about it. Like, they start, like, ah, Because I used to just get it in, and they would put it in a, the potato uh, container. Mm. They would give me my patties. I'd get, like, six patties, you know, for six bucks. Just proteining it out. Yeah. But they wouldn't give me the onions, and I'd be like, dude, yeah. With the onions and the pickles, those All are good. good. Stuff. Yeah, those are healthy. So, on a scale of one to ten, what would you give the chicken fitness meal? I would definitely mix it up all together, and I would give that a solid seven and a half. Seven and a half. Well, thank you for talking politics with me, thank Tony you. Tuesday, and Merry maybe Christmas. next week I'll come back or sometime and tell you how the protest went. Yeah, no, no, I please do. Please come back next week and honk and wave. <laughs> Liberty, thanks for coming in and hitting the bong. <laughs> Just in time.